Hello and welcome to Silvana Alta. My name is Laia Bové and today I am bringing you a cooling down practice for you to do after you've been climbing all day or spending time outdoors or being really active. There's a chance that your body feels fairly tight and the intention here is to allow a little bit of space to loosen up and let go of some of those tighter spots and perhaps be a little bit less sore tomorrow. <laughs> so um, I have two blocks with me that I really like to use to support some of the shapes, but if you of course don't have those, that is absolutely fine. And you can also get creative and find something that you can substitute these blocks with. So um, we're gonna start lying down. So come to lie down on your back. And again, if you have the blocks, perhaps you put them on the side for now. And just lie on your back and bring your feet to the ground a little bit wider than your hips and allow your knees to rest over one another. You can let your hands rest on your belly. You could also take your arms overhead or to your sides. And just allow yourself to relax onto the earth for a moment. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let your belly, your rib cage, and your chest expand. Open your mouth side out. Two more like that. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Return to your natural breath. Take a moment to notice how your body feels after the day, whatever you've been up to, whatever choices you've made, you are the way you are in this moment. Deep breath in and let it go. Allow your feet to remain wide. Allow your knees to start to lift up toward the ceiling. Inhale. And on your exhale, surrender both knees toward the left side. They don't need to touch the ground. Inhale, come back through center. And on your exhale, sort of move both knees toward the right side. And just start to move from side to side here. Inhale through center. Exhale, knees to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, knees to the right. One more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your knees back through center, plant your feet onto the earth, bring your arms next to your body. Ground through your feet, through your hands, your arms, your shoulders, and the back of your head. And on your inhalation, lift your hips off the ground any amount. Notice if your toes have a tendency to curl up, press them onto the earth. Lift your chest a bit more toward your chin. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, slowly lower your hips back down toward the earth. You could stay here and move your hips side to side once again, or if you rather, start to draw your knees toward your chest and hug your knees in. You could hug them toward the middle of the spine or a little bit wider toward your shoulders. Move side to side here. Notice how your spine feels, how your hips feel. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Lower your left foot toward the ground, hug your right knee toward your chest. And take a few circles here with your hip one way. You perhaps also include your ankle. Switch directions with either your ankle, your hip, or both. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Interlace your fingers underneath your right hand, or perhaps you catch more toward your ankle or your foot. And as you inhale, extend your right leg up any amount. Flex through your foot. Exhale, cross your right ankle over your left thigh and bring your right hand to your inner right thigh, left hand to your left hip. Inhale, exhale, draw your right knee open. You could stay here. You can even take your arms overhead or to your sides, maybe move a little side to side. For more sensation, consider lifting your left foot off the floor. Interlace your fingers underneath your left thigh. And again, perhaps you find stillness or movement. One more breath, wherever you are, inhale deeply. 
Exhale completely. Uncross your right ankle, lower both feet to the floor, arms next to your body, palms down. Inhale, lift your hips up again for your bridge pose. Press into your arms, lift your chest a little higher. Inhale. Exhale once again, lower your hips back down toward the earth. This time draw your left knee toward your chest, hug it in, perhaps move a little side to side or create circles with your ankle, with your ankle and your hip. Whatever seems appropriate in this moment. Do no more, no less. Switch directions with your circles. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Interlace your fingers underneath your left thigh or begin to grab your left ankle or foot. And as you inhale, extend your left leg any amount, flex to your foot. And as you exhale, keep your foot flexed as you cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Inhale here. Exhale, draw your knee open with the help of your left hand. Stay here and find a little bit of movement or stillness. Or to increase the sensation, perhaps lift your right foot off the ground, interlace your hands underneath your right thigh. Wherever you are, breathe. Notice any tension. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Lower your right foot back down to the ground. Uncross your left foot. Arms next to your body, palms down. And one last time, inhale, lift your hips up into your bridge. Perhaps this time you lift your arms overhead, stretch out. And on your exhalation, lower your hips back down. Begin to roll toward either side and press yourself up to a seated position. You can sit in any way you would like. You can sit cross-legged, on your heels, on a blanket. Inhale, take your arms out and up. And on your exhalation, surrender your hands to our opposite elbows. Lift your chest a little bit more here. Inhale. And as you exhale, take your left elbow down and your right elbow up. Perhaps your gaze goes up to the right as well. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Come back through center. Deep breath in. Exhale. Take the stretch to the other side. And again, it doesn't have to go super far. Just go far enough to where you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> the intention is not to create more stress. It's to let go. To soften. Come back through center. Take a deep breath in. Extend your arms all the way up. Exhale. Bring your hands behind you now. Press through your palms and lift your chest. If you'd like to lift your hips, you can press into your shins and lift up. Notice the space in the front of your body. One more, breathe in. And as you breathe out, lower your hips all the way back down toward the earth. Begin to extend your left leg out to the side and draw your right foot a little bit closer toward you. You can soften your left knee here and you may notice that the sensation through your hips is different and that may serve you in a different way. If you have your blocks, perhaps you bring them in front of you and roll your shoulders down the back. Inhale here and as you exhale, take your elbows back and lower your chest forward any amount. Let's do that two more times. Keep your spine long as you inhale, rise up. And as you exhale, bend your elbows and lower halfway down. One more, inhale. And on your exhalation this time, perhaps your elbows lower to your blocks or toward the floor, let your head relax. One more breath here. As you bring yourself back up, Take your right hand behind your right hip. Inhale, take your left arm overhead. Stay here or lift your hips up, open up. You could even take your left hand behind your head and draw your elbow back a bit more to open through your shoulder. One more breath wherever you are. Inhale, 
exhale slowly bring yourself all the way back down shift your weight toward your left glute switch sides with your legs so again as you extend your right leg perhaps you keep the knee a little bit bent so you can find a little more length through your spine or you can extend your leg a bit more whatever feels best but notice if you're rolling back and away yeah inhale roll your shoulders down lift your chest exhale leading with your chin bend your elbows slowly lower halfway down Two more times, inhale, exhale, one more, breathe in and breathe out. Feel free to stay here, lower your elbows to your blocks or the floor, relax your head and breathe. Perhaps this side feels different than the other, that is absolutely fine. Observe what's there, not with the intention to judge it or change it. Just notice. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. As you rise up, take your left hand behind your left hip. Sweep your right arm overhead. Stay here or lift your hips. Deep breath in. Stay there. Or take your right hand behind your head and take your elbow a little further back. One more. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring yourself all the way back down. Start to bring yourself toward a tabletop position. So come into hands and knees. And as you come into your hands and knees, bring your hands under your shoulders and your knees about hip distance apart. Move a little side to side. Now I'll offer a couple of options. One option, as you inhale, lift your tailbone, lower your belly, look up. And as you exhale, round. If you'd like to find a shape that's still consider taking your arms forward here keep your hips stacked over your knees and take your forehead toward the ground or perhaps take your chin toward a block or the ground so either take a few cat cows or stay here in anahatasana opening your heart One more breath, inhale, and exhale from wherever you may be, come back to your tabletop, inhale, send your right leg back, lift your toes off the ground, and on your exhalation, take your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Now keep your left hand on the floor, perhaps a little further to the left, turn your right toes a bit to the right, right hand to your inner thigh, lift your chest, breathe in, and as you breathe out, find a little more rotation to the right. You can even lift the ball of your right foot off the earth. And if you'd like to find a stretch through your left quad, the front of your left thigh, consider bending your left knee. And notice that that can change the sensation quite quickly, so be very mindful. If for whatever reason you want to catch the pinky side of your foot, go ahead and do that. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, release your foot if you grabbed it, take both hands back down toward the ground and start to walk your right foot toward your left wrist and then slide your foot a little bit back toward your left hip. You can either extend your right leg all the way back and stay on the top of your left leg or you can surrender your right hip to the floor and then bring your left knee to the side at more or less 90 degrees and square your hips to the front. So notice that it's not that one's better than the other or more advanced than the other, they just produce different sensations. So choose what you would like. You can stay here with your chest lifted, that may bring more sensation onto your inner left hip or the top of your left thigh if you are in pigeon. Or if you would rather start to walk your hands forward, elbows to your block or to the floor. And breathe. Two more breaths. Last one, inhale. And exhale. So to bring yourself slowly back up, slide your legs all the way back, find your tabletop, move your hips side to side or take circles, whatever would flush out any extra sensation you found there. And as you return to a stable tabletop, inhale, send your left leg back. Lift your toes off the ground, exhale, left knee to your left elbow, 
take your foot to the outside of your hand, perhaps extend your right leg back a little further back, perhaps take your right hand a little further to the right. Left toes start to pivot to the left, inhale, and on your exhale, draw the ball of your left foot off the earth and draw your knee open with your left hand. Stay here or perhaps bend through your right knee. Perhaps catch the pinky side of your foot. Wherever you are, breathe. Notice if you're grabbing your foot that you can choose to draw your foot in for more of a quad stretch or you can press your foot away for more of a shoulder stretch. One more inhale. Exhale, if you grab your foot very, very slowly, let it go. Cartwheel both hands down to the earth. And walk your left foot across toward your right wrist and a little bit back toward your hip. Either send your right leg straight back for pigeon pose or again, if you rather, surrender your left hip to the ground. Bring your right knee to the side at more or less 90 degrees. And roll your shoulders back and stay here if the shape brings you a stretch that feels supportive right now for what you need. Or if you rather, inhale, lift your chest a bit more. And on your exhalation, so slowly lower yourself forwards. And just breathe. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Start to bring yourself back up and come to a seat this time. So surrender your left hip to the ground, bring both legs around. And again, take a moment to move your legs from side to side. Notice how that feels. And then bring your hands right behind you and your feet or right behind your shoulders and then your feet right underneath your knees. And on an inhalation, lift your hips up any amount, lift your chest, open up through your heart. Notice the sensation in your shoulders. And as you exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way down. Extend your legs. Instead of draw your hands toward your ankles, relax your head down and breathe. Your knees can be soft or extended here. Perhaps you move your neck a little side to side. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Bring yourself slowly back up and find a comfortable cross-legged position or if you rather sit on your heels if your hips would rather be in a neutral position. Roll your shoulders down and back and then open your arms out to the sides. Deep breath in. Exhale, take your right arm over your left. Bring your hands toward your shoulders or come into eagle arms. Maybe you move your neck a little side to side. Maybe you move your elbows in little circles in front of you one way and then the other. One more breath. Open your arms wide to the sides, inhale. Exhale, left arm over right, hands to your shoulders and stay here, lifting your elbows up. Or if you rather, bring your palms or the backs of your hands to touch for eagle arms. And find stillness or movement either through your neck or through your arms, your elbows. If you're taking circles, make sure that you go both ways. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, release your arms, lift them all the way up. Inhale, interlace your fingers. Exhale, draw your elbows to the center, move your wrist in circles or circle eights one way and then the other. Release your hands down to your knees and let's take one or two breaths together, noticing how you feel. Letting the energy settle even more. Once you feel complete, take a moment of gratitude for your body, for all the things that it does for you. Thank you so much. I hope that this practice has served you. Please come back to it as often as you need to help you settle after you climb or do any physical activity. I look forward to practicing with you again soon.